Well, you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're taking a look at Microsoft hides the Windows 10 offline account option when you're installing Windows 10. Now, if you do a fresh install of Windows 10, you may notice now that you don't get the option to uh, select the offline account. And that's because Microsoft have hidden uh, this particular type of option. So we're just going to go ahead and I'll show you how you can bypass it and get around it and install that offline account instead of signing up to one of Microsoft's online accounts. Now a bunch of YouTubers have already created videos on this like Chris Titus Tech. He's got a good title but what he's showing in the video is not the real issue with uh, Microsoft and other people that are trying to install the Windows 10 offline account. So now before you people start bashing me in the comment section, I'm not running him down. I'm just using his video as a reference because what he's showing is not the real problem. I'll show you what the real problem is in a second where they've removed the offline account altogether. It's hidden. And the only way you can get that back up to install an offline account is either uh, install Windows 10 as a Microsoft online account and then log off and then set up an offline account or you can uh, disable your internet connection and go back and it will then uh, give you the option to do an offline account. So let me just quickly show you that uh, process here and then you'll get an idea of how to uh, work around it. So it's just getting to this stage now where you'll be able to see uh, the new a feature that Microsoft have added into their installation process. You can see we've got the network connection up the top there, which means it's checking the network and then it gives you the option of the account, which is only the sign in to Microsoft account. So they've removed the option to do the offline account. Now to get the offline account up, like used to get it down in the bottom left hand corner here, to get that offline account back up, what you're going to need to do is pull out your Ethernet cable or disconnect from the Wi-Fi connection, which will then allow you to go back and get that option available. So I'll show you how to do that. So I'm on a virtual machine here, but if you was on a real uh, laptop or you was on a real machine, you would need to disconnect your Internet. OK, and you can see here, this is my Internet Ethernet cable. I've uh, disabled that. And as soon as I've disabled it, I can then go up to the top left hand side here and hit the back button. Once you hit the back button, it will start checking uh, again and it will say just a moment and it's checking for an account and also for an internet connection again. And once it realizes there's no internet connection, it will give you the offline uh, installation connection. It's a bit sneaky from Microsoft and it's probably to get you to sign up to their Microsoft account so they can uh, monitor you and collect more data from you. So that's probably why they're doing this. And to be honest, uh, it's a dirty little tactic, really. But once you've uh, disconnected your Internet, you can see now we are in uh, the offline account mode here. And it's asking us if we want to go online and create an account or you can now go ahead and create your offline account. So as you can see, that's how you can work around it. It's just a bit of a ball ache to get around uh, this process uh, and get your account installed. As you can see here, I'll just go ahead and click next here. And uh, you can see it's still nagging me down the bottom there to create an online account. And we'll just go ahead and click next. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is on the home version. I'm not sure if they're forcing you on the uh, pro versions yet, but it's definitely on the home version. So I'm going to decline all of this stuff because obviously this is data collecting stuff that uh, Microsoft want you to opt into and that's entirely up to you uh, whether you want to do that. I'll just quickly show you these last few stages here and then I'll call this video done. So I'm going to say no to all this stuff and this is what I normally do. I just normally uh, put no here and basic and go through this process. And once I've done this, I'll go on to Windows itself and start uh, disabling stuff on there as well. Now it's a shame that you have to go through this whole process, but it's just what Microsoft seem to be doing with their Windows 10 operating system. So if you do watch Chris Titus Tech's video, then point him in this video direction, and that way he can see exactly what uh, the problem is. Perhaps he didn't quite understand what the main issue is 
what he was showing was completely different to uh, this problem what you're seeing here so this is um, the operating system once it's installed and uh, once you get this installed you can now go into account and you will be able to see uh, your account now if you didn't have a disabled internet connection and you had to sign up for the Microsoft account then what you can do is come into your account section here and uh, click off uh, the account there and sign in with an offline account you can still do it that way I'll probably make a video to show you how to do that but that's basically going to be about it for this video that's basically how you can uh, bypass their Microsoft online account and get to the offline account by using the disable Ethernet or Wi-Fi method. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. Have a great day and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.